In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make four options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, the first option comes. As you can see here, I have added very bright gradient colors here, color combination of two different colors. And then I have added the option one here, the title, and then you can replace your own subtitle here. And the detailed text can be added here along with the icon. And when I click, it will show me uh, option number two with different color combination. Then this is the option number three and option number four. So let's see how to do this beautiful color combination infographic slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background and then go to insert shapes. And I'm going to select from basic shapes. Can you see here? I'm going to select this is the right brace. Just draw the right brace. Maybe this much size you can see here. Let me just zoom in. And then you can see here there are two orange points. So this orange point which is on top, I'm just going to drag it inside. Can you see here? You got this shape. Let me just zoom out. And then I'm going to fill this color with any color and shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and then i'm just going to rotate this shape you can see here i can select this one which is the first one right 90 degrees let me just increase the size a little bit more you can see here then on the top i'm going to add another shape for that let me just go to insert shapes and from rectangles i'm going to select this one which is the top corner surrounded and just make it exactly on top of that one i'm going to select the same color shape outline make it no outline let me just zoom in and align it perfectly you can see here it is perfectly aligned let me just zoom out so you got this shape now i'm going to highlight both of these shapes and go to format merge shapes and just say union I'm going to add one more shape in the background for that I can go for two options I can just go to insert shapes and I can just select this rounded corner rectangle or I can just select this press ctrl D and go to format I can just change the shape whichever change shape and I'm going to select this one so you got the shape and shape fill I'm just going to select white and let me just send this to back you can see here and I'm going to increase the height and a little bit of width. I'm just going to hold the Alt key and I'm just increasing a little bit. You can see here, I got this particular shape. Now you want a bigger size. I can just select all, press Ctrl G to group it and just hold the Shift key and increase the, or decrease the size according to your requirement so let me just put maybe this much size and i'm going to put it here and right mouse click i'm going to ungroup it now choose some good color combination for this shape select this shape right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select a gradient fill by default which i have used the last time it is showing there so I can just select any shape or any color here. I can just go to colors, more colors. And for example, I want to use this uh, orange and with the color combination of, I can say a yellow one. You can see here. So you can see this color combination. If you want more of a dark orange, you can just increase the size. And then effects. I'm going to give a shadow effect go down in the inner I'm just going to select inner inside top right and I'm just going to reduce the distance you can see here and this shape I'm going to select and I'm going to give the shadow effect I'm going to select the first one offset bottom left and increase the distance you can see here increase it to 10 11 whatever and make it more blur you can see here so our one shape is ready now it's time to add some icons if you have and the text here now first of all i'm just going to add the option here 
I will just type option 1, 2 or option A, B, whatever. So I'm just saying option 1. If you want, you can make one bigger also. I'm going to select the font, which is the dark orange and the font size. The font I'm going to choose open sans, make it bold and you can make it 18 or 20. It's up to you. And if you want to increase this one, you can just increase also. So it looks something like this. You can see here option one and if you want to give a different color also you can give some different color and then here below you can add some detailed text or subtitle here i'm just going to add add your subtitle here this one i'm going to give maybe the same color orange open sans reduce the font size maybe 12 is okay center align and put it here you can see here and here you can add detailed text along with the icon so if you have the icons if you're using office 365 you can go insert and i uh, click on the icons or uh, uh, last week i have provided a tutorial where i have provided more than 500 plus icons absolutely free you can just uh, go and watch and download that particular uh, template from the YouTube channel so let me just add the icons here any icon let me just select this icon insert and I'm going to reduce this to maybe 0.5 the height and width I'm just going to place it here and if you want white color or any other color whichever you color you feel better you can just add that one so let it be white and I'm going to add the detailed text here you can see here add your detail text here and this also i'm going to make it white font center align open sans and reduce the the font size so you can see here our first option is ready now so now it's easy i'm just going to highlight all press ctrl d to duplicate and add here one ctrl d and three times so and then i can just align it center you can see here just align it in the center and now it's time to change the color of each one according to your choices i can just go select here i can select maybe the teal color along with maybe a green color or whatever color which you feel better you can see here but choose the right color combinations and i'm going to select maybe blue and with uh, light blue or this color you can see here and then here i'm just going to select maybe pink along with the purple you can see here this also looks good better and let me just change to maybe to purple color light you can see here and then I'm just going to change this to 2 and I'm going to change this to 3 and 4 and this also the font size I need to increase it all right so it is 32 yes so this one again based on the colors you have selected just change the you can see here let me just change this one this i'm going to change to blue and this also i'm going to change to pink likewise i have to select this again and i have to change it you can see here it looks more beautiful colors let me just change it the last one with pink so you can see here uh, the design is almost ready and if you want to change the icons it's very simple select this icons go to format change graphic from icons if you're using office 365 then just select this one insert and change the color to white that's simple so you can see here it looks very beautiful four options infographic slide
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye